tell you what, some of the things I've seen today would not go well in the championship. Wait, oh! I get to go. <laughs> yes! Today is something completely different. Because Hull City play tomorrow, I thought with a free Saturday, we'd venture off to step 10 of English football. Now that is crazy, but Pickering Town are playing at home. And for the last six years, when Hull City haven't been playing on a Saturday, me, my uncle and my mum go down to watch Pickering Town. Now the reason is because something's always happening. And most games you'll see a red card, the manager fighting with the fans and the players battering each other. It is really something to watch. It is the definition of proper non-league. And I tell you what, they've had a little bit of a downfall. They went from about step six down to step ten. It's been back-to-back -back relegations and things aren't going right. But hopefully today we can see Pickering Town pick up one of their first wins of the season. And hopefully it'll be a good atmosphere. Now, the special thing about this club is the food. I mean, I tell you what, the football sometimes isn't the greatest, let's be honest. But the food there is just unbelievable. Proper butchers, pies, gravy, mushy peas, burgers, hot dogs. It is just, for someone my size, I have a field day there. It is blooming brilliant. And I've already had my dinner, but I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Genuinely, it may be just the best food I've seen. Bar Hull City, because Hull City has been ranked the best food in the EFL. But bar that, I would have to say Pickering Town is on another level. Well then, I don't think I need to waffle a lot because I'll be honest, I don't know really any players. All I know is it's going to be an hectic day out. Hopefully we can see a few red cards and a good goal fest. Up oh, then Pikes, that's their nickname. And I'll see you down at Pickering Rec Club. Right, half past two is the time. Kickoff's at three o'clock. So we better get going. About a 20 minute drive. So it will be pushing for kickoff, but hopefully we can get in and get some scran and enjoy a lovely bit of non-league. We've arrived in the mighty Pickering, and we have got a good 15 minutes to spare. I'll tell you what, it's looking busy down here. Might not be able to get a seat, might have to stand round edge. Pickering Rec Club. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to this. Bit of non-league for your Saturday. Well, there we go. Right. We get through we can. Program acquired. Bovril. This is where food will be at half time. Looking forward to it. There we are. Very fun. Very professional that is. This guy here, number seven, been at the club for at least five or six years. Gives everything. Been with her through the eyes and lows. And uh, isn't afraid of a rash challenge. That's what we're expecting today. I should add that that is a slope in the pitch. Um, so what are you getting on Lee? I suppose you can use it for your advantage. Right. Well, there we go. Oh, man, that Roberto Carlos. I'll tell you what, for a step 10 gear, 200, 250 people watching, it's very good attendance. I thought they can get promoted and go back to where they were. Oh, man, eh. Intimidated. Oh, oh man, eh. Well, that's said long. The only problem is a massive pole blocking off the goal there. Oh, dear me. Fair play to them, too. Brexit as it comes. One thing you do have to be careful of. If ball goes over, your car's getting dented. Oh, yeah. Well, the subs are wearing building jackets. That, that, it really is something. Oh, no. oh, man. Well, there's another 55 minutes to get a, a goal or two. Tell you what, the dropping line flies here. I don't know whether it's pitch or something, but they're all on floor. He's offering his glasses. You don't see that in championship. Oh dear. Had a look at the table and Pickering Town 17th. The only problem is the three teams below them have played four games less and only three points away. It's not looking good. Save. Whoa, man, I was safe. <laughs> On your heads. Oof. What a blooming ball. Clip it, man. Oh, that's it, me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. what? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh dear. It's like ball in this, it genuinely is. More PG version. I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to half time scrap. And we'll go for a burger. Oh. <laughs> that slope is really something. The first prize is 9 1. Well, there's half time. At least you get some food. One queue for scrap. It's good to see local businesses supporting local teams. But... <laughs> We've got prices, one pound for a coffee, one pound for not chocolate. Look at that. Oh, I missed kicker. I came back. We're back. The penalty on video, but I tell you what. Didn't look like a good challenge at all. I like this top scram. Some of the best I've seen. I haven't tasted it yet. Quick update, it tasted as good as it looks. Top scram. Oh, oh, there. How's the food? Absolutely brilliant. Top tier. Right. I must add, quite a few Hull City players have come here on loan. Harry Lovey, ex midfielder for Hull City's Academy. He was here for a month long. Very good from what I can remember. Apparently, there's a Leeds United player, an Academy player, and a Harrogate Town Academy player on the pitch. That's good to see. Is he going to shoot? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. oh man, heck, it's like Barcelona. <laughs> no, you're in girl. Yeah, now, I'll be honest, the last time I came here was last season, and only two players have stuck about. Just Tom Anglahura, who I went to school with, which is pretty mad. And number seven, where's he? Where's he gone? There he is. Wayne Brooksby, servant to picture in town. What a guy. He'd probably do, isn't he? Very, very good. You enjoying yourself, Dad? Yeah. Brilliant. What the bloody heck's happening there? football. What's that buddy going in there? Are they, they switch goalkeepers, are they? We're going to touch ball again here, are we? No. Oh dear, ball's gone, have it. That'll be car window smashed in. Oof, blooming heck. No, oh, he's three. I'll tell you what, keepers had a good game. Oh dear. Just throw a ball at line I'll tell you what, some of the things I've seen today would not go well in the championship. Someone like Louis Carl threw the ball at the opposition, that'd be a yellow card easily. And some of the challenges, you get a 10 game ban. Look at that. How was that? Step 10. And he's got himself a substitution board. That's something. It's one good thing. So not prattling around at back like Old City, eh? One minute. Oh. I'll tell you what, the up and tempo. Come back on. In all fairness, it is quite a nice stadium. I mean, I watched four out of five England World Cup games there. And uh, did sit there when France beat us in the rec room. What a dismal night that was. Oof. It is crazy to think that Harry Vaughan was playing on these sort of pitches last year and now he's playing for all City in the Championship. Crazy things. The assistant manager's warming up in front of me. Is he, is he coming on? I don't know. There you go. Come on, neck. Go on. Come on. Let's get a go. Just the one. Oh, man. Let's ball. Right. Look at this. Go on. Oh, he's at the bar. I think the assistant manager's come on. He was on the touchline managing and now he's on pitch. You don't often see that. Imagine Andy Dawson running about. Go on. A ball. What a ball. Leslie Stroll. I understand they want the three points, but going into the corner. Took me up. You just don't need to do, really. Oof. Oh, that's a great ball. Play it up! Hey! <laughs> 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 
Come on. I think there's two and a half minutes left to get a go. It's possible. What a comeback that would be. I ain't got a clue what the keeper's doing there. Bit of a misunderstanding between the defender and the goalkeeper. But it doesn't matter. Proper non-league. Tell you what, their manager reminds me a lot of Neil Warnock. <laughs> Proper stubborn, but going for it. Free kick. Keeper staying down though. I bring the keeper up. Might as well. Put everything on the line for three points. Not this stage, one point. Oof. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> There's always some sort of fight in here. Right, well, it's 90. How much added time, we don't know. Right, keeper's taking it. <laughs> Cheers for that manager. This will be like, oh, what's going on now? This is it, this is it, this is it. Blow me in neck, lads. Hit the target to go. Blow my neck! Oh, no! A <laughs> little bit of a stinker there, really. I looked at the replay though, their striker's just jumped in and Zlatan kicked him in the head. Things you see in non-league, not even a bucket, not even a bucket. Can't be long now, 30 seconds maybe. But I don't know where the plucking is added time from, I'll be honest. Alright. Still going for it at Pickering, which is what you like to see. See the assistant managers grab one. There it is. Full time, 3 1. Difficult game. It's good to see a non league game. See you in a few minutes. Well played, both. What I'm meaning about kicking ball, other. To be careful with your can. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh dear. Just looked at the last goal. Looked at the replay. The striker's turning to Ronaldinho, juggling it with his knees over the keeper, and then goes and karate kicks the defender in head. I haven't got a clue what's going on there. But for a step 10 game, that was fantastic. It really was. Now, I've been going to Pickering games for quite a few years, and, you know, it's... It's sad to see that they've got relegated, but I do genuinely believe that they have the talent there because I think, by the looks of it, a lot of their team is probably 18 to 24 range. I think, you know, in a couple of years when they hit their prime, they will be able to push back up. All the players will be at the potential peak and I think things will start looking up. I think it's been a bit difficult, obviously, with COVID and everything that's going on, but hopefully we can see the rise of Pickering Town and get back up to where they deserve to be, around step six, or even push up to the Football League. That would have been incredible. Although it was a difficult result for Pickering, I do think you can take a lot of positives out of the performance. At the end of the day, you got the goal and you weren't dominated on the pitch. I feel, you know, if that last goal didn't go in for, I think it's Campion, I think the game would have gone maybe a draw. I think Pickering were pushing for it and that goal just rolled everything out. But fantastic day nonetheless and hopefully they can push on and get a few results. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. It would really mean so much. It's been a true pleasure taking you to Pickering Town Rec Club to see a lovely game of non-league football. I'll see you in the next vlog, which is tomorrow when Hull City take on Stoke City. A win could take us all the way up to third place. Up them, Tigers! And up the Pickering Town.